Okay, welcome back to Miss Curtis's art class. Today we are going to be talking about Claude Monet. So Claude Monet was a French painter, a founder of French Impressionist painting and the most consistent and prolific practitioner of the movement's philosophy of expressing one's perceptions before nature, especially as applied to plain air landscape painting. Plain air painting is when the artist paints outdoors. Monet would paint the same subject matter at different times of the year and day. Depending on how the light hit the subject matter, it would change the look and feel of the painting. Okay, so today we are going to be creating our own picture and we are going to be using paint. So this painting is going to be in the style of Monet. So we are going to be using little impressions of color throughout our picture. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to make sure that you have all of your materials. So today I'm using a pencil and a piece of paper. I am going to be using paint. If you do not have paint at home, that's okay. You can use colored pencils, markers, or crayons. And like I said, we're just going to be using color to make little impressions on our paper. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is create our frame and name. So with your writing utensil, you're going to hold your paper nice and tight and make a frame along the edge of your paper. I'm going to rotate my paper. I'm holding my paper with the opposite hand. Okay, and at the bottom row of your paper, I'd like you to write your first and last name. So I'm going to write Miss Curtis and your homeroom number, so 220. Okay, now this picture or painting that we're going to do is going to be a little house sitting on a hill looking over a cliff and you're going to see that there's going to be a sea or a lake in the background. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is we are going to draw this house sitting on the hill. Now this house is going to be in the upper left-hand corner of our paper. It's going to be kind of small and it's just going to sit right here. So the first step I'm going to do is draw a straight line right here the top left and you can notice that that's pretty small it's about an inch or an inch and a half and then I'm going to make a little peak almost like a mountain top right off of that line the next step is going to be a straight line coming down right here on the right, and then a straight line that connects these two lines. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are actually going to make this house look 3D. So the next step I'm going to do is make a straight line right here at the top of this peak, going right across. And another straight line right here that is parallel to that straight line. Okay. I'm now going to make an angled line right here. So as you can see, this house is starting to become very 3D looking or three dimensional. Now I'm going to make a straight line coming down here and across. So now we have the structure of our house. We can actually add two chimneys here. So a chimney is just a rectangle shape. 
and I'll make another rectangle shape. So I'm going to have two chimneys on my house and I'm going to erase this line right here. Okay, how about we add some windows? These windows are going to be the shapes of squares. So I am going to put one window right here on the back of the house. Another window down here on the bottom left. and two windows on the side of the house. Now Monet loved to paint uh, pictures or um, areas that were in nature. So this is going to be a very beautiful seascape picture. Like I said, a house on the side of a cliff. So we are going to have a lot of greenery and flowers down below. And I'm gonna show you a really interesting way to paint those in. Okay, so now that we've made the house, we are going to make the hill that it is sitting on. So from the middle of the back side of the house, we are going to make a curving line that comes down to the side of the frame. Over here, we are going to make another line that comes out from the front middle of the house. And that's just going to curve down almost like it's a little rock that the house is sitting on. And then we're going to make a curving line that comes down to the bottom right of the frame. So the house is sitting on top of this cliff or again, almost like there's this little rock coming out and going down. The next step is we are going to make a horizon line in the background. So this is where the sky is going to meet the water. The horizon line is going to start at the left side of this frame here and it's going to be a straight line behind the house. And notice that it's just going up towards the top part of the house. And it's going to continue, but I'm not gonna draw through the house, all the way to the right side of the frame. So this is where we're going to have our area of water in the background. And like I said, down here, we are going to have some really beautiful flowers and they are gonna be painted in the same style as Monet in an impressionist style. Okay, so now that we've drawn the house, we can have a lot of fun starting to paint in our picture and adding some color. I'm going to be using a smaller brush. So this is a round brush and I'm going to use this for the house. And I'm also going to use this for the greenery and the flowers on the cliff. The background, I will also use this, but I may use um, a larger brush as well for the background area. Okay, so let's get started. The colors that I'm gonna be using on the house are going to be a light pink, um, purpley, and almost like an orange with some white. So I am simply going to dip into my paint and start with the roof. I'm going to hold my paper nice and tight. Now, like I said, Monet just did little strokes of color. So I'm going to take my time painting this in for the roof, I'm going left to right, like so. I'm also going to dip a little bit into the orange. And notice I'm not actually mixing or rinsing my brush in between. That's because I just want to dip in and out and have these colors just kind of layer on top of each other. I'm doing little impressions of paint and color and I'm staying in the lines to the best of my ability. I'm going back from this uh, pinkish light pink color and this little bit of orange for the roof. I'm going to continue. I'm going to do the same colors throughout. My windows are going to be a little bit darker and I'll do some shadows of blue and purple down below. So I'm going to speed this up and let you see what that looks like. And then we are gonna move on to the cliff. So as you can see, I did a little blue shadow right here in the corner and a little bit below the chimney area. And then I just used those oranges and pinks throughout my entire house. 
this side I want it to be a little bit lighter because the Sun is actually coming from that angle so now I am going to just work on the windows a little bit so my windows are going to be a little bit darker so I'm using a little bit of red and pink Okay, so now that the house is complete, we are going to work on the cliff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to paint in the entire cliff green, and then afterwards, I am going to use the small brush again, and I'm going to go ahead and put some flowers throughout my picture. So I'm going to just rinse the small brush off here, leave it in my water cup, and I'm going to switch to the larger brush. So this will give me the ability to kind of paint in this area some different shades of green. I have a lighter and a darker one. And I'll just go ahead and do different strokes, just impression strokes, just like Monet, and then let that dry. And I'm going to use these other beautiful colors to make some flowers after. Okay, so now that I've filled in my grass area and painted that green, I'm going to switch back to my little brush here, and I'm going to make little tiny flowers going all the way up the grass area. So I'm going to make some pink flowers, some yellow flowers, orange, red, and purple. Whatever your favorite colors are, you can go ahead and start making little impressions of flowers. So I'm gonna start with pink, and I'm simply just going to press my brush onto the paper like so so if i just do this i can make those little tiny strokes and that's exactly what we're looking for and i'm just going to kind of place them staggered about so that it looks like they're little flowers in the field okay so i'll do some pink in this area randomly and then I think I'll switch to maybe an orange. Okay, so now I'll go to the orange. Make some orange flowers. And I'm going to speed this up so you can see how this comes out. And then we'll move on to painting our water. Okay, so as you can see, I just did several different strokes of color. So just again, I took my paintbrush and simply pressed it onto the canvas. And I didn't paint the whole thing back and forth. I just pressed my paintbrush to do small strokes of color. I did lots of different colors. I did purple, pinks, blues, and yellow, and orange, and just had my flowers going up the hill. I even decided to put some greenery around the house, so you can do that if you'd like. And now we are gonna move on to the background. So I'm going to switch my brush again, and I'm going to just rinse my brush really good. Remember to really um, scrub the bottom of the container to make sure that you've gotten all the paint off of your brush. And then you are simply going to check by pressing your paintbrush on the paper towel if it comes up clear you know you're good to go to the next color so i am going to grab some of my blue here and it may mix a little bit of white with it and we are going to have the area towards the top of the horizon line where the water is be a little bit darker and then we are going to just fade it into a lighter color blue so I'm going to start with the dark color and 
I'm just again going to make some strokes just like we've been doing left to right and then I am going to add more white as I go down towards the bottom. I actually think I am going to switch back to the smaller brush, the bigger brush I'm just going to use for this little area. So I'm going to rinse this brush. Looks clear. Go to my dark blue here. And again, little strokes of color left to right to fill in these white spots. Be very careful to use the tip when you're getting close to the house. And also you can hold it a little bit closer like you would a pencil so that you have more control over your brush. Okay, all right, I'm gonna speed this up and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so that's how we created our water and the very last, last step here is to create our sky. So the sky is simply going to be a very, very light blue. It's going to be mostly white and just a touch of the blue. So I'm going to use the larger brush here and I'm going to grab some white, which already has some blue in it. And I'm simply just going to fill the sky color in. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how your pictures come out. Okay, so as you can see, this just has a tiny touch of blue in the background and all different impressions of paint here, just like Monet would paint. And I hope you enjoyed learning how to paint like Claude Monet. And like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing how your pictures come out and next week's lesson.